Have you ever had a need to sell something online? I know I have. So today we shall learn how to take better photos with your phone to sell stuff online. It's actually quite easy, so stay tuned. Since I first discovered my country's version of Craigslist, I have been into selling stuff. I was just 12 years old when I first got bored of my phone. I really wanted to try out different phones. I was very into tech, and the only tech my father approved was a mobile phone. So because my father refused to buy a new phone because I already had one, I had nothing else to do than to sell my phone, and for the money I get, to buy a new one. And that is just what I did. Years passed and I had sold and bought at around 80 phones. I had a phone for like a month and then I decided that I need a different one because I wanted to change it. I wanted to I wanted to experience a new OS. So uh, yeah. Now after 11 years of selling stuff, I think I know just the right things that will help you to sell stuff online quickly and effectively. It's mostly good photos. That is like the most key feature to all of this is to take very good photos and you can do it these days phones have amazing cameras even budget phones have amazing cameras this is a 250 dollar phone by the way i'm doing a giveaway for this thing so go check out link in the description also card here giveaway video uh, also this phone can take good photos to sell stuff online but today we'll be using the iPhone 11 Pro to show you how to take great looking photos with your phone so you are able to sell your stuff quickly and effectively. But first let's take a look at these examples. So first example as we can see we have this one blurry photo and uh, the only thing we can understand from this photo is that the seller is uh, selling a phone. It kind of resembles an iPhone, it could be an iPhone also, but also it could be a fake iPhone. So this photo doesn't really work well for selling. It's blurry, it's not detailed, there's just one photo. You can't really tell what's happening here. So this is how not to do things. But now let's take a look on how to do things. Here we can see the photos of the same phone just better photos. And here we can clearly see that this is an original iPhone, it's in a pretty good condition, we can see all of the features of the phone, we can see all the details, there are plenty of photos to see that this phone is in working and good condition. You saw the difference, right? One sad blurry photo versus a few great looking detailed shots. Let's go and I will show you how to take these great looking detailed shots. It's quite simple actually. First, let's take our protagonist here. This is the iPhone SE. We shall be selling it today. And we need to find a location to take a photo. We could use this black background as it is contrasty and it will exaggerate the phone in the photo. So this is one location we could do it and then again there is this location well this could be a good location for the photo is because we have this white color all around so lighting this phone here with just a one light source will be very easy because we will be able to like bounce the light here so if we shine the light through to here it will bounce to here 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 and this whole place should be evenly lit well as evenly lit as we can do it in these uh, conditions because we don't have a professional studio you probably don't have a professional studio so this is what we are working with all right so uh, we'll take this lamp because uh, we don't have a professional studio lamp we'll just take any kind of lamp and we have our Studio. Also, we should clean this shelf because you don't want this dust in your photo. There's a way bigger chance that people might buy your thing if the photo is clean. If the background is dirty and messy, uh, it's it's also very uh, off throwing. So clean background. So gotta clean this up. Clean. I wonder could I do. So now we have lit our scene. We have clean, also remember to clean the device itself as well, that is very important because we don't want to buy dirty stuff online. We want The phone dropped and the phone price dropped as well. 
Okay, so the phone is clean. The area we are taking the photos is also clean. And we have uh, this evenly lit scenario. So, let's take some photos. Some close-up detail shots, definitely. Those are very important. You want to take the best looking close-up detail shot, but also showing the imperfections it has. You have to be honest. Honesty also sells. Also a trick is uh, to use uh, these guidelines. So to turn them on, you have to go to camera settings. Here's, here you can turn on the grid. So grid is very, very important because then you can align your photos perfectly. Yeah, it's very good. And here in this location, we have this lamp just shining from top. So we'll do the same thing. Just take some, take some photos of the device. Remember to be precise, be patient. You can change the exposure by swiping up or down once you have gotten this box here. And when you hold the box, it actually locks the exposure as it is. So if you change it, if you look somewhere else, the expo exposure stays the same. And this is very useful for this type of stuff. Remember, the more professional your photos will look, the more trust you will have from your buyers. So um, you should really invest time into getting the most detailed and most prettiest photos you can get. And now let's uh, quickly color correct these photos so they look just right. So we'll be using the VCO app. It's free on App Store. It's a powerful editing tool you can really do quite a lot of stuff with it. So we'll be importing all of the necessary images here. Now let's import those 11 photos. Now they are all imported and let's start with the dark ones. Let's see, this one is a good photo. So it's all perfect and professional because remember, the more professional the photos look, the more trust you get from the buyer. Spend your time perfecting the shots. I do enjoy this black background. It does give you this interesting feeling. Like this phone looks good in this photo, right? What do you think? Looks pretty good. The very cool thing about this app is that you can copy these edits and you can just paste them. Paste them over existing photos. And then you can just go in and tweak the photos, like the framing and everything. final photos so the first photo looks like this looks pretty good pretty well explained this is a very good photo this photo is also very good as we can see the whole phone in its glory almost clean I could have cleaned it a bit more but like um, you get the idea the cleaner the background and the phone and the more professional the photos are, the more trust you get, the more people will want to buy your stuff. So this also is a very good example. This is also a very good photo. So now the black background, the black background is also working very well. Yeah. Although in this black, black background photo, we can see this uh, screen protector crack a bit more. So uh, probably if you are selling a phone with a cracked screen protector, don't do that. Just uh, take off the screen protector. But because I'm not really selling this phone, I took the photos with the screen protector. And uh, yeah, the crack is not very good for selling stuff. Um, if it's not a cracked screen, because people might get thrown off because they might not even read the info that this is just a screen protector. They will just look at it, they will see a crack and they will say, oh no, this is not for me, I don't want no cracked screen. And you will lose a customer. So cracked screen protectors, take them off. And uh, yeah, so 
this is what this this is what I got some pretty photos and it's quite easy you can do it with your phone with any phone you just need to light your scene with any type of lamp you have or any light source maybe you don't even need to light your uh, scene maybe you just use maybe just use your uh, window light as your source of light like uh, there are many ways how to use light to improve your photos and remember use light to improve your photos take detailed shots um, show all of the features of the thing you are selling for example if it's a phone show that it has camera or how many cameras it has if it's a bit scruffed show the condition be honest honesty is very much appreciated in these online selling communities hopefully this could have been useful to some of you. This is how you can take better photos with your phone that will most definitely sell. And remember, if you want to win yourself a phone that can take photos, that can sell stuff, go check out the giveaway video. The link is in the description. Go check out the video. There is a real possibility for you to win this phone. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. That really helps me to get this video to broader audiences and I think People should know how to sell stuff online quickly and efficiently and effectively. This is the knowledge that people need. So please help me. Leave that like. And if you want to see more videos from me, then please subscribe and click that bell thingy because then you will be notified whenever I upload. Thank you for watching and see you next time.